all year long. No, of course he doesn't. He has to get ready for next Christmas. Um, so if you're joining us right now, we are talking about the food that will be the centerpiece for your holiday table. And that sometimes can be the most stressful part about the holidays is the food and preparing everything. And is it going to be delicious? Well, we don't know. If you want to take all the guesswork out of your holiday dinner when you're doing it yourself, a great place to turn is Kansas City State Company. And we have a brand new size in the prime rib roast for you today. But if you've tried some of the other prime ribs, we'd love to have your calls in the testimonial line. 1-800-395-1601 if you want to share your thoughts with us. But this size is the five to five and a half pounder, which means 10 to 11 people can experience delicious half pound portions from this prime rib. Three flavors, classic, traditional, steakhouse, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But Greg Shockley, you're back, and I am yep. thrilled that this is new because that means we get an event price, but only for a few days until the end of the day on Friday. I know. Prime rib is truly something special. You will absolutely love this. And please, when we're when Sharon and I are presenting this, listen in. It is so easy. Don't worry about it. We really want to take that fear factor out. Yeah. I don't care what your cook level is. You can cook this, make the, one of the best things you've ever made in your kitchen. Your family will love this. For up That's to 11 people, you're going to get about 10 to 11 half pound portions mm -hmm. out of this thing, so it's going to really go a long way. So let's go take a look, because if you're saying, okay, prime rib roast, I know that mm -hmm. we eat that at weddings, big fancy occasions, right. anniversaries when you go to a restaurant, but if you've ever taken a look at it at the store, it can be really intimidating because you've got like there's this big bone and then there's this layer of something that's on the top and you're like I don't know am I paying do I do for that? that and what am I supposed to do with that and I don't want to pay for that so they've removed all of that extra work so everything that you have here is all netted together for you in one beautiful piece for four easy payments to get this on four easy pays which we almost never get on a prime rib roast of $23 and 72 cents a month it's in 45502 um, do auto delivery if you want for two future shipments next year but let's talk about this prime rib because it is something that people usually only reserve for fancy occasions but would never even dare to do on their own they do because your point exactly most times <clears throat> they're going to the grocery store or their butcher and they see a big piece of bone and fat and what do you do with that I mean how do people know how to deal with that you just you know what don't worry about it I'm gonna have something else well we've taken that bone off we've taken the fat off we've given you three simple instructions wow, you thought out that. that's actually one of the instructions you thought out Put it in a three One day or one, two days? About two days. Two days. You know, just be on the safe side, give it two days. 375 degree oven in a roasting pan. Put it in there. Use a meat thermometer. Now, that's the one key thing. Doesn't have to be a fancy guy, just one of these simple meat thermometers. It's just, accurate, we're good. Just has to be accurate, that's right. At, at 122 degrees, take it out, let it rest, which means just set, set it on your countertop for 15 minutes. Take off the netting and start carving this guy up. Remember, 10 to 11 half pound portions you're gonna get out of this. It is gonna be the most wonderful wow, thing you've ever served. That. This thing, I mean, I'll tell you what, the prime rib oh. is so great. The, people, the reason people love it is because as you saw, you could just see, I don't even have to really describe how great that's gonna taste. You could just see it is buttery, melt in your mouth flavor. But then on the sides, you get that great crust. You get yeah. that depth of flavor. You get the, you know, between the, the seasoning that we put on the outside of these mm -hmm. and the crust that gets started, you are just all set. It's going to be truly, truly wonderful. And if you've got some people who like it more well done, they can take the end pieces and the ones who like it more rare can take yeah. a couple of the middle pieces. So everybody at the table will be happy with it's this. Something for everyone. But I do need to let you know between the three flavors, so far traditional is leading the pack. So why don't we describe the flavors and we'll begin with classic. Okay, so the classic is just like that. Anytime I refer to classic, it means that we haven't pre-seasoned it. It's just like the one I have over here, my, 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 uh, what, my demo prime rib, if you will. <laughs> it's kind of the, the straight up great prime rib. We're going to give you the steak and prime rib seasoning packet. Comes in a packet that like comes that. with it. So we this originated, uh, you know, just for our prime ribs because it's been so popular and we carried that onto all of our steaks and our burgers because it was mm -hmm. so good. But what it does, it helps get that crust started right on the outside right mm -hmm. there, which is truly special. As I pointed out, that's what kind of gets that texture going on the outside I of the prime rib. I can hear it when you touch yeah. it with the knife. So you get, you know, it's meant to be that way. It's kind of, it's, it's not tough, but it's a little chewy over here. It's but then crisp, you've got the buttery beautiful. melt in your mouth great flavor on the inside. So that's the classic, doesn't come seasoned. You can use your favorite seasoning, mm -hmm. use our seasoning, whatever, but it doesn't come pre-seasoned. And by the way, just before we get into the second of our three flavors, ship it two different ship dates. You can get it now or send it as a gift now with the bill to ship to option or the week of December 8th, you have those same two options. Um, December 8th is the most popular choice at this point, especially for the bill to ship to if it's a gift because it'll get there closer to Christmas time. That's my so, cut right there. 
That's your that whole thing. That's yeah. That's, that's may, probably that's maybe like a the pound and a half. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's so that's half a pound. pound portions. Ten to eleven people will get half pound portions out of this, and that is a very generous portion. So if you have people with smaller appetites, this will go even further. Yeah. If you're feeding a larger crowd, but let's talk about the traditional because that's so far the most popular. So okay. what's the traditional? I always refer to the traditional. Oh, geez, quite simply. Mm -hmm. Don't mind that. That's it's okay. Like grandma or mom would make when they're making their pot roast. They put, mm -hmm. you know thyme and rosemary and sage and a little bit of onion and carrots and celery they would put all those fresh herbs going on in there and that's what they would put right on the outside of this roast right here so, so it is got, truly traditional it's truly traditional so you walk in the house you just know the holidays are here because you get that great smell kind of that pot roast smell like mom would make or those short ribs mm -hmm. but it's great for the outside of, of the uh, prime rib right here so wonderful flavor and you can just see look at those beautiful natural juices coming right out of this prime rib this one's taken up a little bit further the other one was kind of medium rare like you and i both really yeah. like this one we brought up to about maybe medium we took this up about another five degrees okay perfectly juicy still and ribeye steaks are actually come from the prime rib roast. Mm -hmm. And we all know that they are truly one of the most rich, dense flavors. They have lots of marbling in them, and that's what gives it that real great flavor. So this is just the roast form of those ribeye steaks. And actually, you'll see those ribeyes coming up in just a and few minutes, too. And may I have too. a bite? Yeah, One of the flavors, fault. please. Oh, no, that's okay. That's I know I don't, I don't have a fork. I got some over so, here. Okay. Um, but I do need to let you know, December 8th, those people that are doing that ship date, many of them are also locking into auto delivery because they will get two future shipments, one in April on time for Easter and then one in November of next year, just in time for either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Quick bite, and then we're going to go to the phones, and then we're going to talk about the steakhouse and what that means. And <laughs> rich, buttery melt in your mouth. I mean, it literally just dissolves right in your mouth. It is so buttery so full of like it is so full of flavor without even trying yep you cooked it it did that all by itself i mean it is that easy to have a stunning meal for the holidays so and then our last flavor steakhouse which is the steakhouse now this started as you can imagine from our steakhouse mm. recipes we actually started this um, about 40 or 50 years ago with the steakhouse recipe and one of the secret ingredients that so we use thyme and rosemary we use garlic we use um, you know those fresh herbs and then the one secret ingredient which chefs have used for years and years is ground espresso beans now i promise you this is not going to taste like your morning coffee or nope. anything like that ground espresso beans once they're used properly they give off a nice nutty flavor a so rich, it's a very it's flavor. a deep savory nutty flavor which is a secret ingredient and you'll never know what it was unless i told you right there right. but it's really really great and that's what the steakhouse is remember the, most popular marinade that we sell to some of those steakhouses is that steakhouse. They I really love that. Love Out of the three, the steakhouse really is. Yeah, my it's got a nice. I it's, love it's, the deep it's, flavor. It's a punch of flavor, and that's just real savory. Yeah, real big flavor. By the way, 400 people are deciding to jump on the lines and pick this up, and the traditional still is the most popular. So ask about the easy pay and the auto delivery. And remember, the event price is expiring at the end of the week on Friday. So make sure by the end of the day you've reserved yours. While we say hi to Sherry from California. Sherry, I'm so glad we could chat. My name is. Sharon and this is Greg. How are you today? Well, I'm doing just fine and I must say these prime ribs are wonderful. We've ordered them for the last three years, mm -hmm. given them as gifts for the last two. In fact, this year I placed an order for seven of them being shipped out on the 8th. Whoa, seven of them that you're going to be giving as gifts? Yes. That is fantastic. So Sherry, how do you feel knowing that there's seven major gifts that are pretty much already wrapped up and ready to go and you have a lot less work to easy, do? Easy, huh? Well, it's very easy and I know the children, our children and grandchildren love the fact that they're getting a meal that's easy to do. Mm -hmm. They don't have to think about it. And one of our children is a Cordon Bleu chef, and she said that this was a no-brainer. Oh, wow, that is a massive compliment. But you don't need to be a Cordon Bleu chef to know what they're cooking, <laughs> right? That's kind of right. You don't. A, I know, right. Wow. That's great. I am so glad that you have trusted QVC, not just to send gifts, but I think for someone that's never ordered from us before, they think, I'm going to send food to somebody when I haven't even had a chance to taste it. Right. But you can attest to the fact that it is delicious and it's been loved in your family. It's wonderful. And the confidence that we have in serving this product, mm -hmm. it goes so far as to say that we served this product to a group of people in our home for mm -hmm. a business dinner mm -hmm. whom we had never met. 
but I knew that it could be done with confidence and be successful. It's a winner. Yep, there you go. It is, and you're so right because when you deal with someone like Kansas City State Company, you know your experience will be consistent time after time, and that's very important, especially when you're trying to impress people like you did at that business dinner. Absolutely. All right. Well, Sherry, I am thrilled that you have had such a good experience and that so many folks in your family have a chance to enjoy this for the holidays. So I hope your holidays are delightful. And thank you again for joining us tonight. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, Sherry. Bye-bye. That's really huge because it you is. know what? And for me too, No, nobody wants to serve something for the holidays and wonder, will it be good? Will it be good? If you follow the simple instructions, it will be amazing. It will. Remember, we're going to give you the instructions very simply. Page 16 of the Gourmet Guide, which mm -hmm. you're provided with, you just read that. It basically says, thaw it out for two days in your refrigerator. Here's what you're getting. Remember, we were talking about earlier, most times you get a big piece of bone and a big piece of fat cap on top of here. And if you weigh that, you're probably paying almost equal the weight of the prime rib and all that waste. So and you it don't gets to, thrown away. Yeah, you get thrown away. So you yeah. don't have to do anything with that. We're, this is what you're getting. Notice, we net this also so that it keeps its shape, so it looks really nice, but also that it cooks evenly from side to side, so it, um, you know, it's just so it holds its shape. Preheat your oven, 375, put it in there. Don't use your watch, use your thermometer. Mm -hmm. Remember, just use that simple thermometer. I've got a couple different ones here. I've got a nice digital one here, and I've got just a regular um, old-fashioned one, if they're accurate. The, the gourmet guy does say take it, cook it to 130, but what right. I like to do is cook it to about 120, 122, take it out. Then you're going to let it rest, which that allows it to kind of keep up, keep cooking about another 15 and to 20 don't degrees. don't skip the resting yeah. step. You want all those juices ever. to climb back in. Yeah, don't ever skip that. I don't care if anybody's sitting there hungry. Just make them wait those 10 minutes because it'll make all the difference <laughs> in the Look world. 15 minutes later, snip off that netting and start carving it up. It is purely beautiful. It is going to look, that's the medium rare one. We've got kind of the medium right here. If you care for medium, we do mm -hmm. give you all the guidelines as far as the temperatures to take it out. But medium is about another five or seven degrees up further. Super easy. Give it a shot. I promise so you won't regret it. 10 to 11 half pound portions. And I will admit, if there are any left, if you don't have a big gathering coming to your house, 